Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have my Sample Sunday series to share with you guys, so I have lots of things to talk about that I've tried this past week, so let's get into it. The first thing is from Clinique. This is the Clinique Clinique Smart Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Custom Repair Moisturizer. This is actually a really good moisturizer. The things I've tried from Clinique, I've been very happy with, so this was no exception to that rule. This is a very, it's not super thick, but it's a very um, moisturizing moisturizer, if that makes sense. So it's not uber thick or anything like that. So you put your finger in and you can tell that it's not super thick, but it does have enough moisture to give your skin that moisture barrier that you need on your skin, especially for your face. So you don't need a whole lot of this either. So that's why there's still a ton in this little jar here. You don't need a ton of it. I love it for the daytime. I love it for nighttime too, especially because I feel like it's good and moisturizing. It doesn't have a strong scent to it. So if you're someone who's like sensitive to scents, I think you would enjoy this. So for me, I think Clinique has really good skincare. I feel like they have been in business long enough doing skincare that I feel like you can kind of trust them. So this is one that I feel like I would definitely purchase the full size in. So I was really happy to try that out. And this is going to go into my skincare routine to continue using it until it's empty. The next thing is this right here. This is by Corez. This is the Pomegranate AHA's Enzymes Resurfacing Mask. Now this says it's for oily or combination skin. I use this, where's the bottle for it? I can't find it. <laughs> um, let me find it. Here it is. So here's what it looks like. It's just a little pink bottle here. So I use this and it says it's for oily or combination skin, but honestly it didn't do anything bad to my skin and my skin as you guys know is pretty dry. So I think this is a good enzyme cleanser. So like enzyme cleanser, that makes sense. A good resurfacing cleanser. So it's going to exfoliate your skin but it's an AHA, so it's just going to do above the surface. It's not going to do below the surface. The way that you can remember that on if you're trying to figure out which ones are which, the AHAs are going to go above the surface and the BHAs, I think it's BHAs, are going to go below the surface. So this is AHAs and enzymes. So this is basically just going to eat off any dead skin. So I don't know why they would say this is for oily or, com oily or combination. I don't know about you guys with dry skin, but I feel like that's a problem I always have is that I have dry skin like patches. And it really helped with that, especially around this acne area right here. I feel like it helped to kind of clear that up a little bit. So this is really good. It has a different scent to it. It kind of reminds me of baby food for some reason. So it's not bad. It just reminds me of baby food for some reason. The next thing is this right here. This is from YSL. This is the new Tushy Clot Neutralizers. So you have the green, the bisque, and the violet. So the green is to neutralize red. The bisque is to correct dark circles. And then the bisque or the violet is to correct dull skin. So I don't like any of these, to be honest with you. I feel like they did nothing for my skin except for add extra layers and make my skin look cakey. So this was not a good go for me. The green, like in here, I thought it was going to be a little bit more pigmented. It's pigmented, but like once you start rubbing it in and everything, like once you take your beauty blender, I don't have a beauty blender here, but once you start taking your beauty blender and you're patting it in, like I feel like it just thins out so much and it just kind of, I don't know, it didn't do anything, especially for redness. So if you have redness, I don't feel like it covered enough. So for me, this is just a no-go. The next thing is this right here from Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. This foundation is terrible for dry skin. It's terrible. Oh my gosh, guys. Like when I put this on, it looked like my skin almost looked like, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. When your skin in the wintertime, it starts to peel up and it looks like it's just got like layers, almost scaly looking. That's how my face looked. It was just awful, so I did not like this whatsoever. The shade wasn't the correct match. I mean, that's obvious. It's a sample, so you're not going to get an exact match with samples. But that's not the main problem I had with it. The main problem I had with it was just how it looked on my skin. Like, from far away, it looked fine. And then you get up close, and you're like, whoa. Do you have, like, some sort of skin disorder or something going on here? So it just didn't look good. I would not purchase that. The next thing is from L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Siri Expert, the A. Oh, X Vitamino Color. So I tried this out twice because I only wash my hair twice a week basically. So tried this out twice and I didn't notice a difference with color, but there's still plenty in this jar right here. So I'm going to try it out again because I'm planning to recolor my hair soon. I'm going to be adding some more blonde highlights into it because I feel like right here is really grown out. So I'm going to add some new highlights and then we'll try it once I add new highlights and then I'll let you guys know like in an empties whether or not this maybe help preserve the color or not. So it smells good. That's one good bonus. It's a very thin consistency, so it doesn't help with like detangling or anything like that. So don't think it's going to help you with that part. It did not help at all with that part. So I just want to try it out to see if it does help with longevity of color. So I'm going to try it again and use it up. 
The next thing is from Dr. Teal's. Oh my gosh, you guys know I love Dr. Teal's. This is the foaming bath and this one's in lavender. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. But it's a very strong lavender scent. So if you don't care for the lavender scent, you're not going to like this because the lavender scent is pretty overwhelming. It's not to a point where you're going to get a headache or anything from it. I know lavender is supposed to be calming. But for me, lavender is not something that I feel like calms me down. I feel like it just, it's a little bit too potent. I prefer, like if I'm going to have calming scents, I like eucalyptus. I don't know why I know that's supposed to be invigorating, so it's like the opposite for me, but that one really does well for me. So I probably wouldn't purchase this particular scent, but it was nice and it really fills your whole bathroom full of lavender scent. So if you just wanna maybe have a lavender scented bathroom, just take a shower and add some of this to your spongy and there you go. I probably wouldn't take a bath in it again, but using it on a sponge would be good because it would be a little bit more open and aired out a little bit more for you. The next thing is from Aveeno. This is the Daily Moisturizing Lotion with Sheer Hydration. Absorbs in seconds. Absolutely it does. This stuff is really nice. I'm going to continue to use the rest of this up. There's like a little bit left in here. I'm going to put it on my... It made like that toot sound. I'm going to put it on my desk so I can use it at work because I feel like since it absorbs so quickly, I won't have to worry about like when I'm touching the keyboard and things like that, that it's going to mess my keyboard up or it's going to make it greasy. So I'm going to leave it on my desk because I feel like it is a good hydration moisturizer, but I don't think it's going to be well enough for like the winter months. I think it's going to work best for me for like now where my hands aren't super bad, but like in the winter months, I feel like you're going to need something a little bit thicker, a little bit stronger, a little bit more better for moisturizing. This one's like perfect for if you have normal skin, I would say. So it's good. It's just not something I personally will purchase, but I will use it up because it's absorbed so quickly. That's what I liked about it the most is like you put it on and like it's almost immediately dry. So I like that about it a lot. The next thing is this right here. This is the Glam Glow. This is the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. I tried this out. This is really cool. You put it on and it almost looks like white on your skin at first. And then all of a sudden it starts to change into like a bright silver. And then it looks weird. You kind of look like the Tin Man or something. And then when you start to peel it off, you can peel it straight down and it doesn't pull or anything. So it's not going to hurt you. You can pull it straight down and pull off a complete mask. I actually took a picture of it and put it on my Instagram because I thought it was really cool. So this was really nice. I did enjoy this. It's supposed to firm your skin. I didn't see anything with that, but I mean, it's a mask. I only used it one time. So it's not like you're going to see a dramatic firming result in one time use. So it'd be something you'd have to use continuously. But as far as coolness factor, absolutely. I liked it. So I probably would purchase that. The next thing is from Living Proof. This is the multitasking styler. This is the styling cream. A little bit of this goes a long way. I had a warning from somebody to tell me that it will make your hair oily. And they're right, it will make your hair a tad oily. So what I like to do with it is just put like a little bit in my hands and then just rub it through. You can even, do, I do it on dry hair too. I don't think you have to necessarily do it on wet hair. But I mean, they tell you to, so you should probably follow rules, but I'm a rule breaker, so I don't really listen. I just like it because I feel like it helps to kind of seal my ends in a little bit more and doesn't make them look so crazy. This does have that little bit of a peppery scent to it, but it's not so bad this time for some reason. For some reason, I'm not minding the scent to it. It almost smells good this time, so I'm like, okay, so this one is one that I could continue to use. So I really do like it, especially for days like today where my hair is a little bit crazy looking, so I can kind of tame this down some. So I really did enjoy this and I would definitely continue to use it. I don't know that I would purchase it, but I'll continue to use it. The next two things are perfumes. So we have the Tom Ford Orchid Soleil Eau de Parfum. This smells so good. I had two Tom Ford perfumes before and they were really strong, like really, really strong. This one is not strong at all. It just smells beautiful. It's got like a warm note to it, but then it's just also sweet and flowery. I don't know. It's just beautiful. So I would love to have the full size on this one. This one's absolutely amazing. Really enjoyed that one. The next one is Eau de Cartier. I don't like this one. I feel like it's just a typical scent for me. It's nothing fancy, nothing special. So it, for me, if I were going to choose out of the two, I would definitely pick the Tom Ford Orchid Soleil because it smells really good. The Tom, this, uh, what's it called? Eau de Cartier. Mm, doesn't really do much for me. So I would say this one's more generic scent and the Tom Ford is a more of a original scent so I really love the way it smells it just it's a very inviting scent I love the way it like smells on your skin so anyway that is the samples I tried out last week so then we're going to head and move on to some new samples I'm going to move all the old ones over here so we can put the new ones in the basket so let's get some space here so the first thing I'm going to do is going to pull out our three skincare samples so I have the basket here I'm going to pull three the first one is 
Ooh, what do we have? We have wash up. This is from Good Isle. This is a deep clean pour glacial clay wash off pack. I've never heard of this. I'm going to pull it in close for you guys so you can see what it looks like. I've never heard of this before. Have you guys ever heard of this? Let's see what it looks like. A wash off what? Pour clay, glacial clay. I'm assuming it's going to be black for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm thinking it's like a black mask. No, I was wrong. Pleasantly surprised. So here's what it looks like. It kind of looks like, like sand a little bit. So there's what it looks like. I'm excited to try it. It doesn't smell like much. So that's exciting because I love doing like cleansing routines and stuff like that. It's almost like I make it into a routine each night. I'm like, okay, so what am I going to try out tonight? So that's probably why my skin doesn't love me so much sometimes though. Next one is, what do we have here? We have Exuviance. This is the Exuviance Overnight Recovery Mask. Ooh, I love night overnight masks. I don't know. Oh, it's fine. It's just very goopy looking. I don't know. It's fine. It just looked a little bit weird. So here's what this one looks like. This is just a little jar of it. So it looks like maybe one mask and that's about it. The next one is... Uh, Clarins. This is the Extra Firming... Wrinkle Control Regenerating Night Cream. Ooh, I'm excited about that. I've had like the body one before, but I don't think I've ever tried this one. Exciting. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next basket. The next one is our body care basket. So we have this one right here. So I'm gonna pull two out of this basket. The first one is Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. I think I've tried this before. Is this the one that I tried that's good and it doesn't make you slip? Or is it a different one? I don't remember. We'll try it anyway. So I can't remember if it's that one or not. The next one is, this is something from Rituals. I love Rituals. This is the Rituals of Hammond. This is a purifying ceremony for the body and soul. It's a black soap, refreshing eucalyptus and olive oil. That sounds very interesting. So I'm excited to try that. Most of the things I've tried from Rituals, I really enjoyed. So let's give this one up. Oh, it comes out looking like like nail polish with glitter in it is what it reminds me of for some reason. There's what it looks like. So it's basically clear. It smells very minty, eucalyptus-y, so that would be like a very invigorating shower. The next basket I'm going to move on to is this one right here. And this one has our makeup samples in it. So I'm going to pull two makeup samples out. The basket shut for me. The first one is... Givenchy. This is the La Rouge Liquid. Liquid. <laughs> Just trying to sound super fancy. So this is three different lipsticks here. We have 202, which is Rose Flannel. Flannel. And we have 309, which is Low Interdict. I'm sure I'm butchering all these names. Then we have 410 Rouge Suedine. So there's what the colors look like that I'm going to be testing out. So I'm excited to try those. Hopefully the red's nice because that looks like a really pretty red. It looks like it's like a blue red. And those are the types that help to make your teeth look whiter. And who doesn't want that? Now we're going to move on to one more sample out of here. The next one is, whoops, something big. Ooh, Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the color correcting adjusting one. So this one's supposed to help with redness, which is definitely going to come in handy this week because I have some breakouts going on here. So... We'll have to use that and see how good that works. All right. Then our other basket is our hair care basket. So I'm going to pull two out of hair care. We have... Ooh. We have Matrix Style Fixer Finishing Hairspray. What? This is like a really pretty bottle. I don't know why, but I love that color. Maybe it's because it's fall and that color reminds me of fall. So there's what it looks like. I'm going to give it a little poof. I can't really smell much. Well, it smells nice, so I have to see how stiff it makes your hair and if it holds your hair or not. So that'll be the test. Another one out of here we have. Ooh, ooh what do we have here? Ouch, got my finger. We have the Wella Perfect Me Lightweight Beauty Balm Lotion. Ooh, I like, that sounds very interesting, especially for coloring my hair upcoming this coming week. So that might be helpful to put in my hair after I color it. So that way there to see if it kind of locks everything in. I need to pause you guys and get the perfume sample. So hang tight. So I got the perfume sample. So we're going to pull two out of the perfume sample jar. The first one is, what is this one? Indigo. Nest Fun Fragrances. Indigo. 
I sprayed the other one, so I'm afraid to spray it. But it smells like it might be good. I don't know. I have to try it out. The next one is, um, what is this? Victoria's Secret Heavenly. So Victoria's Secret fragrances, I feel like are very good, but I feel like sometimes you're better off to wait because all of their fragrances seem to go on sale. So if you're liking a scent from Victoria's Secret, wait until like one of their sales go on. So if this is a good one, I might put it onto my, my wish list. But definitely check their sales before you purchase any of their scents in full size. I didn't realize that until I paid for full size scents from them for a while. And then I saw where they all had went on like half off. And then they went back up to full price. And I'm like, what the heck? I should have waited and got them at half off price. So now we're moving on to the winner from last week's sample Sunday basket or bag. Let me full, full up. <laughs> Let me fill up my page here. Let me pull up my page here so I can choose the winner. We'll do this together because I haven't picked one yet. Um, sorry guys, my apologies. Okay, so we're going to just scroll and pick a winner. You ready? Hang on, if my thing will load. Ready? And here. So the winner is Katie Culpepper. So Katie Culpepper, all you have to do is send me an email in the email address listed in the description box and let me know your mailing address and I'll mail this out to you. So Katie, you are the winner of this goodie bag. So now we're moving on to the next goodie bag. So it's going to be in this cute sparkly bag, which is going to be perfect for like the upcoming holidays. It's so cute and sparkly and the sparkles don't come off, which is really important because if you've ever missed some sparkles and you're like a crafter, you know why sparkles are not so fun. So now let's go ahead and pull your samples out. Let me grab your basket. I have it sitting down here. So we've got so many baskets sitting around. I have to like find places for them all to sit and, and hang tight. So let's get in here. This is the sample basket that I use for you guys. So it's completely full. The first one, we'll pull out eight samples. The first one is, ooh, it's a small one. We have pharmacy. This is the Honey Savior All-in-One Repair Salve. So this is with Enhancia Green, Green Envy Honey. So here's a little sample of pharmacy. That looks like it should count as like half a sample. What do you guys think? I think so. So let's do another one. Okay, here's our other half. So we have a whole one now. This is the Sephora mask. This is the mud mask and purifying with purifying and mattifying. It's supposed to help with. So there's what that one looks like. So there's one sample. The next one is, ooh, this one's a bigger one. This is the Bio Cleansing Conditioner by Unwash. I've tried this before and it's really cool. So whoever gets this, I think you're gonna enjoy this. The next one is, ooh, something big. Ooh, Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. So you get the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. So there's three. The next one is, oh, so like <laughs> I pulled out a bunch. Let's just grab what's on top here. We have Banish Dry Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. Comes in this cute little card here you flip open. Whoops, maybe. Yeah, you flip it open and it's got your couple samples in there of the First Aid Beauty um, moisturizer. So here's with that one, that's four. The next one is, mm, they're all wanting to come out at one time now. Hey, stay there. Oh, we have the La Fresh Travel Lights Makeup Remover Wipes. So these are really cool to use for on the go. I love those, especially when I go to hotels. I'm always like, those are the best ones. I want to order a giant box of them on Amazon. So that's four. Next one, we have Rayo Hydrating Citrus Mint Conditioner. So these are the ones that I purchased off of Poshmark. Remember I purchased a bunch of samples off of Poshmark. These are some of those. So then we have three more. The next one is Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. This is an awesome mask. Whoever gets this, you're going to love it. It smells just like pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love it. Two more. The next one is, oh, what do we got here? We have MAC, this is the strobe cream. So here's a MAC strobe cream, one bar. The last one is, what do we got here? It's really big. We have the Too Faced Hangover RX. This is the three-in-one moist, like a spritzer. So here's a little sample from Too Faced. So those are all the samples that are going into the goodie bag. So if you're interested in winning this goodie bag, all you have to do is leave me any comment. I don't really, it doesn't really matter what you say. You can tell me, hey, you know, Today, your makeup looks like doo-doo. Please don't say that, though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, let me know any comment and just 
hashtag sample Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love to also know what samples you've been trying out recently. Were they good? Were they bad? Let us know because that kind of helps everybody. We're trying these samples out instead of purchasing the full sizes and it kind of saves us some money. So let us know what your thoughts are on the samples that you've tried recently. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.